Whoa, this new Spider-Man movie was awesome. Imagine having Spider-Man powers. How cool would it be? Come here, you little spider. Just one bite. Okay, now I am ready. Let's try it. Ouch! Uh Hello everybody, and welcome to the new episode of Pango's World, and to those who have already seen the new Spider-Man Miles Morales movie, welcome back from the Spider-Verse, give us your opinion on the movie in the comments, but don't spoil anything, nobody likes spoilers, last week we did an episode on the Little Mermaid, in that episode, I said how I got inspiration from that movie to talk about mermaids, now I have the inspiration to talk about spiders from the new Spider-Man Miles Morales movie, and more precisely about the spider that bit Miles, is he an experiment? or something else, what is his original species, and where did he come from, there are more questions about him that we will try to answer today, but before we start, you could swing to that subscribe button and take a bite of him, not only will the YouTube algorithm appetite be satisfied, but you are also helping me in my road to house goal, and you will also be notified every time I upload a new episode, that makes it 3 in 1 my friend, enough of chatting let's get to the theme, first, let's see the scene with the spider, and from that scene, we will use most of our information about him. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Hey, man. Tell me I'll teach you, man. <laughs> hey, how'd you know about this place? Did an engineering job down here. What's up? <laughs> yeah, man, I knew we were related. Whoa. Brooklyn! <laughs> There's a lot of history on these walls. Here is his first appearance. We already can see that he is definitely an experiment due to the number of his legs which is 8, and that is the common number of legs for a spider. We also can see that his legs shine on the end in some weird blue color. I am not an expert, but I know that is not common for spiders, at least I never saw that. This is so fresh. Now you on your own, Ma. Okay, now we are sure that he was a normal spider. He's creating a totally normal web. 42. I think no spider has a number on his belly. I think that he got that from the experiment, but we will talk more about his origin later. And he glitches, of course he does. Why not? Now I am really not sure if he is even a spider anymore, or maybe a robot. Maybe something even worse, a spider bot. Let's just hope it doesn't get that deep. Okay, that was so smooth. So he's a really fast spider as we see. Now he can jump and even camouflage, which reminds me of a horned lizard. If you don't know what am I talking about then I suggest you watch our episode on him. But only when the red bar on this episode comes to an end. I know some spiders that can jump like that, but camouflage and changing colors. I think that's purely because of the experiment. His camouflage is so advanced. Like when he just touch different color he adapts to it. I can say that I thought he is bigger than he actually looks here. <laughs> wow. Is it too crazy? No, man. Miles, I see exactly what you're doing. While they have their conversation, yeah. I should probably let you know that I hate spiders and I do this episode only because of you. It's true. Then he took on the cop thing and I don't know. He's a good guy, just you know what I'm saying. All right, come on, man. I gotta roll. <gasps> and 
and there comes the bite. His venom is spreading fast, like it entered Miles's bloodstream in just a few seconds. Miles, let's go. Okay, and then the scene finishes, so we are done with the video, and now we have his abilities. Let's now find out what species of spider he is based on his abilities. We can see that he has 8 eyes and 8 legs, he has hair on his legs, and he is not that big. Okay, after some time of researching, I found out nothing, basically, this spider is just an imaginary species, but that doesn't stop him from being experimented on. Now, from where he comes from, I saw a theory about how he is from another dimension considering that he glitches out just like the rest of Spider-Mans that are not from Miles' dimension, and I think I am pretty satisfied with that answer, that, or I am just lazy to find out more about his origin, but let's leave it at me being satisfied by this theory. And I don't know what's up with the number 42 in this movie. If you have any idea what's going on there, tell us in the comments section where you can safety spill out your wiseness. Well now let's talk about the superpowers Miles gets from this unusual spider. That's weird. My pants shrink. I think I hit puberty. First we see that our hero cannot fit his pants anymore which he immediately blames on puberty. I gotta get in pants. Wait, why is the voice in my head so loud? Loud voice. I knew I am not the only one. What? Oh, are you okay? What? This must be such an awkward moment for our hero. Why am I so sweaty? Why are you so sweaty? It's a puberty thing. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm not going through puberty. I did, but I'm done. I'm a man. So you're like new here, right? We got that in common. Yeah, that's one thing. Cool, yeah. I'm Miles. I'm Gwen. Okay, for a moment I thought she had gone crazy, but then I remembered that she is actually Gwen and she cannot tell her real name. Gwanda? Wait, your name is Gwanda? Yes, it's African. I'm South African. Yeah, South African you say. Well, let me break down to you, sweetheart. South African people don't have the same skin color as you have. But I don't blame you for your awful knowing of geography. Uh, no accent though, because I was raised here. Do the shoulder touch now before she walks away. Why is this so scary? Please don't do that. Am I doing this in slow motion or does it just feel that way? I'm kidding. It's Wanda. No G. That's crazy. <laughs> hey. I am done with this. The theme is over, cut the cables, and shut down the camera. Of course, I am just kidding. Okay, then, uh, I'll see you around. Oh, see you. Well, that was not supposed to happen. Hey! Um. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, can you let go, please? I oh, ow, 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 calm let down. Go. It's fine, just... Oh, oh. Oh. Miles, let go. On it. It's just I don't think you know what puberty is. Just relax. Okay, I have a plan. I'm going to pull really hard. That's a terrible plan. One. Don't do this. Two. Three. Nice to meet you. Sure. Total pleasure. Anyway, after this cringe ride that I had to go through, let's break down some of his powers that we see. So he is bigger obviously, he is more mature, and he is sticky. His flirting abilities are certainly not the part of his superpowers. Say that again, Miles. Hey. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I am done with it. I forgot to mention the camouflage ability, but we don't see that in this scene, but he has it. Also, he has an electric web, which is so cool. I think it's enough of spiders for one episode, if you ask me, it was too much of spiders for one episode, but at least I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to be a part of my goal by clicking the red guy, and feel free to comment on this video, I think the YouTube algorithm will thank you for that, and last, but not least, go and watch another one of my episodes if you want of course, and this theme is done, till next time see ya, now I could definitely try to be Spider-Man just one more time.